Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's right. He he was uh, yelling about that. He had to get back there for Sanji, right? Yep. And, how, you know, it's all, also sadly one of the few times where you get a real sense of respect. Sense of perspective of time, you know, instead of starting off with time. Uh, where we get, like, an idea like time scale. Because of what, what was, like, a couple weeks or something that he was waiting there? Uh, no, it was, uh... Uh, the, those events passed between like a day and a half or two days, but it's because Luffy was already hungry. Because again, he was fighting a uh, cracker oh, for right, 18, eighteen hours. hours yeah. So he was all. <sighs> Character designs my passion. Christ. The very. <laughs> oh God, we do show that. There's a. It looks like the fish Pokemon from either Gen Seven or Gen Eight. It's this uh, water psychic fish, and it's the ugliest thing we, we've ever seen. It's like pink and yellow and blue and green. I definitely feel like I know what you're talking about. Try to find that and also compare it, because it's just about as hideous. It's not the squid thing. That was something different. No, it's, it's just a regular-ass fish. It's either Gen 7 or Gen 8. Yeah. Also, I think this is only the second time that Luffy has had a uh, talk with Big Mom. Yes. Because the first time it did happen at Fishman Island. Yeah, that's where he said, I'm not going to pay. I ate all the candy that was supposed to be going to you as tribute for protecting Fishman Island from every other pirates. I ate it all. Because, of course, the emperors would be running a mafia-style production program. Actually, that's how all of the emperors work. They have islands to their domain it, uh, that are their domain that are just under their protection. There's a flag. There's a flag with that crew uh, at the front of every town. It actually comes up in a cover story after Dress Rosa. Oh, okay. Where uh, Bartolomeo happens upon a, ta- a town that's under Shanks's protection. Speaking up, there she is. Bartolomeo happens upon a town that's under Shanks's protection, and Bartolomeo doesn't know anything about Luffy's connection to Shanks. So his first thought is, "I'm going to go and shoot a hole right through." this Shanks flag and start destroying the town and starting to sell them Luffy merchandise. <laughs> ah, I, I love um, Territory Wars. So, yeah, this is uh, this the whole Fish and Island thing. Yeah, this, that's what led to, I'm pretty sure, Jinbei actually being a part of the Big Mom crew for a little bit. Yes, technically. Because one of his, uh, because his, the first mate of the new Fishman Pi- well, The new Fishman Pirates... Jimbe's or the new Fishman pilot pirates, Hody Jones. Damn, I don't remember offhand. Uh, Jimbe does have a crew of his own. His first mate, another Fishman, Aladdin, is married to uh, one of uh, Big Mom's daughters, Praline. I was talking about her earlier. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> to put it in terms you might remember or be familiar with, he's here to uh, to cut ties with them. By returning, uh, by returning slash smashing his Sakazuki Blood Oath Cup from Mobile Suit Gundam Iron Blooded Orphans. I was about to say. <laughs> I, lo- I love the sheer amount of uh, traditional Japanese uh, traditions. That was redundant. Uh, being used in his was suppo- was supposed to be like a t- tr- traditionally like 1600s European style uh, anime. The first, the only indication of what time it is we ever get is a newspaper that happens, I think, maybe in Long Ring Longland or in Jaya, right after they come crashing down from Skypea that says the year is like 1511. <laughs> yeah, I can believe that. And that's pre-time skip. So. Yeah. But uh, no, Jinbei in, in and of himself is a very Japanese character. Very much so, yeah. Because what? Because the new Fishmen... Jinbei and his sect of Fishman Pirates sort of operates kind of like Yakuza. Or at least that's how they're treated anyway. Yeah. And this is where we get the reveal. And this is where she gets questionable. So you can probably surmise by now just by watching her. Uh, she doesn't have her... She's not put together very well. She's not in her right mind. No. He's a very good liar at that. Well, hey, at least he tried to do one thing on his own terms. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, there it is. Yep. Which is still objectively not even the worst thing I've seen on this island. Have you seen Big Mom? Oh boy, there is... <laughs> There's the guy who has a genie coming out of his stomach. Which so, one's that? I forget his name, but he's also one of the first couple sons, but there's a guy who his stomach is black or blue or something, and he rubs it and a genie comes out. That, that uh, description glance is kind of terrifying. Yep. Also sounds like a stand user. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> yeah. Okay, have you seen Paris Sparrow? Them's a uh, yes. better way. Paris Sparrow, Brulee, <laughs> Big Mom, Ka well, Kagakuri keeps his mouth hidden, but even Kagakuri's mouth I don't find to be the most grotesque thing ever, anyway. I don't know, maybe I'm just more accepting of things than uh, most characters in the series are. Oh, oh I get to partake in this. Oh, you picked Jinbei. I picked Jinbei. I've actually I, used Jinbei for this stage. I explicitly... You, you asked me beforehand if there was anyone I wanted to level up for us, so we wouldn't have to deal with this. And this, and for this stage, I decided to max out on Brooke for this very reason. Oh, okay. I mean, I, fi I figured that, but... So, I mean, if you want to, go ahead, but you're going to have to go through that whole process. Yeah. And, now, and he's doing it. And now I get to partake. Okay, so after digging through uh, setup for a little bit, luckily I'm able to actually uh, do some good stuff with Jinbei. So this isn't you know, going to be nearly that, that bad, luckily. Also, unique dash. He has water coming behind him. Kind of cool. Nice. This is not a castle, this is a fucking dollhouse. Probably party intention, but... Yeah, it does bother- God. This is gaudy as shit, though, my god. Oh my god, he's got, he's got arm and hockey fists. Of course he does. Well, I guess it does uh, add up fully. This move is fun. <laughs> if we could see it, always my luck that I, would, I get stopped to go off in the corner. <laughs> oh yeah, this move is actually absolutely ridiculous too. Yeah, no, I'll, luckily I'll be able to demolish this in absolutely fucking no time. If you say so. I think I'm doing good. I've got to be take care of the chest farmers. soldiers. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Corner <laughs> activations are always amazing. It looks like you're standing on that thing. Pretty much. Unfortunately, this level is a little bit of a headache because of the amount of stuff you have to keep track of. Oh, just wait till you get to the next one. The second half of this castle is fucking huge. Yeah. And you have to fight Brulee through the whole thing. Yep. Yeah. You are clear for takeoff. I, I still think... No, I think about. I think for some bizarre reason, Brooke is like the character I put the absolute least amount of time into. I think the only time I've really played Brooke was literally back in Pilot Warriors One. I'm not even kidding about that. Yeah. So I need. I need to go he's uh, all, get back uh, about that. He's always been on the decidedly weaker end of the roster. So. Shame too, because like, without passing the swordsman, he is. You think that would be uh, a little more beat to him? Alright, let's see. You don't have to worry about taking enemies, just ring the bell. Yeah. Let's see, I think it was one of the back rooms that was that was in there. I just wanna make sure. Because it was like a secret pass passage in one of them. Yeah. They're all either empty or have a group of enemies in there, which hey, get go for the fucking S rank, I guess. <laughs> Let me stop going for Smash Three, that's one of the first ones. There we go. Smash Force. Pretty goddamn good though. Hang on. But what does his aerial combo game look like? Isn't that a fun question? I should try that. Going up. Oh, is he one of those single hits in the air? Rob. Almost definitely. Yeah, he is. He gets a bitch slap. How nice. Oh, that's right. You can combo into like a dive kick. That's kind of fun. For what it's worth, they, this game did at least like ramp up the AoE has on all of his moves, so he's no longer like the straight linear hitter. I, th I think back in Power Warriors 1, the idea was to make him like a very strict, like, um, like linear uh, st uh, striker, but still actually had higher attack power to make up for it. 
That's why I had some use back then, but... You yeah, found it right away. Yeah, the speed... Oh, oh, it's the same stage. Oh, no. Never mind. Wow, his dash is actually really good. Fucking Jesus. Goes fucking far. You right. gotta destroy the book. Back in the first one? Oh, yeah. I completely so. walked past them. Yep. Oops. Of course, to be hell in a book, this place is just that goddamn weird. I think you have to actually attack it. I think there was a switch I had to go for. Oh. Uh, no, you just gotta clear out the room. Did you do his actual move, though? I don't think I saw it. I did, but the camera got fucked up. Hang on. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's not anything I can tell. Oh, that one. Yeah. Yeah. It does its job. I think it's kind of fun. This in particular is pretty alright. <laughs> oh, well, Lear's already here. Why? I will take that. <laughs> That's not the one, but go ahead and beat him up to it. <laughs> they all deserve it for how uh, lazy Koei is going to be in the last stage of this arc by replacing someone who actually did something important with just the chess soldiers. Yeah. Plus, you know, so, so monetary gains are never a bad thing. I didn't actually see how, mu how much it consumed in order to actually get uh, to this level. <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to break. I think there's actually a switch somewhere you're supposed to uh, destroy. Well, the game will, will catch up eventually so we can figure that out. No, the game says just capture the area. I am so glad they're flameproof. <laughs> and of course, because it's required, constant upskirts on Jinbei. Thank you, front flips he likes to do. I do enjoy like seeing his Funyoshi down there because why not, lol? You're really gonna make a character this shaped and make him a karate practitioner and not a sumo. Okay. Whatever. Considering the tradition of One Piece by proportions, I'm not too horribly surprised. Oh yeah, you're supposed to break the mirrors. God, it's all is the same level, isn't it? Uh, they're specified mirrors. You'll you'll know them when you see them. It's telling you right now to go upstairs. Yeah, the fake loopies are gonna start popping out of them from at some point in time. Yeah. For example, you can eventually destroy these. Yeah. It's uh, there they are. Yep. <laughs> Fake loopies have appeared. Unfortunately, they'll also keep spawning until you do break the mirror, so that's an incentive to actually go out of your way to take care of that. And also, yes, the fake loopies will have the same moveset as regular Luffy. They won't turn like your fourth on you or anything, but they will fight back. This stage can take forever if you're not careful. You really gotta be conscious of your... Yeah, you can't just all pile at this level. You have to actually be conscious of the win conditions. <laughs> you can check out any time you like, but you can never leave. <laughs> There's a mirror. Finding friends is so wrong. Talk to Zoro and Sanji, they'll do it on a dime. <laughs> there it is. Yep. Luckily again, not horrible, but you, you, got, you gotta be actually conscious of this. Also, holy shit! <laughs> I love that. Dynamic entry? I love it when the baseball slide just turns to uh, uh, into an actual one shot. There it is. Okay, there's one. Now you can start breaking shit. Yep. So does she actually spawn these fake crew, uh, crew members? Uh, yes. Okay. So there is a precedent for this. Glad to know Tech McCoy isn't making up more dumb bullshit. Holy shit. Yeah, no, this is gonna be a while. Luckily, again, this dash is incredibly good. <laughs> the idea is to eventually pin down the real Brule, who is disguised as Luffy. I know, not confusing at all. She's in one of the lower areas, but you may as well take out all the mirrors on the way. Yeah. That I was just... a nice elbow drop. Oh, he's a, he has a straight dive kick for his air, air strong. <laughs> Dope. Despite the fact that I whipped so hard. That will... You're also supposed to be keeping uh, Nami safe, too. Oh, hi, Luffy. <laughs> Honestly, the AI is usually pretty good at taking care of itself in this game, so I don't worry about too much. 
I don't think you automatically lose anymore if one of your cohorts dies. Oh, I actually canceled the animation. That's kind of cool. Real Brule actually has some tank to her. Fuck. She actually has shields. The clones don't. No, the clones do, but they're extremely flimsy. She's also got that purple glow on her, denoting some slightly better than average attributes. That's how you know she's real. Theoretically, once to take care of her, the level should end. Uh, well, the other mirrors disappeared, if that's any indication. Oh yeah, they did. I mean, I can JoJo this, why not? You're doing a Tekken juggle. There we go. <laughs> See, that wasn't so bad. <laughs> And that's younger than Big Mom. Yep. Oh, yay, they rescued. Yeah, they were in there for like a day or two. <sighs> I feel compelled to ask more about Zoe because I'm still kind of... That, that is like... Wow, okay. <laughs> that is a giant elephant, right? Yes. Okay. It is, it is alive. Its name is Zunisha. It is constantly walking forever. It is big enough to just be a giant elephant in the ocean as feet reach the bottom. Oh, shit, that actually spend that much? Yep. You went from like 14 million down to 2 million. How the fuck? That wasn't it. That was just... I remember normally it only took like 3 million. Damn. Okay. Zunisha's feet extend to the sea floor, and uh, the main body goes into the clouds. <laughs> Me marry that low life? Are you fucking kidding me? Have you seen the competition? <laughs> There's no competition. So, there, Reiju was saying... Putting is saying that directly to Reiju, who is paralyzed or something. Yeah. And uh, Sanji's outside, and he's hearing this from the window. Because he's also carrying a basket of food. He's like, well, if I'm screwed, I may as well at least try to try to... <laughs> <laughs> That's so hilarious. I may as well try to. I may as well at least try to make friends with the person who's going to be my wife. Yep. May as well try to make the best of it. And then you know he has uh, the wor uh, the worst of his breakdowns when he finds out that oh, I can't. It was all a setup. So my f uh, my mentor. Uh, my mentor's gonna die, my hands are gonna get blown up. And this... And this nice lady, it was... She doesn't even want me. Yup. She thinks I'm a joke. Guy's got rough for this one. He goes through the big sad... And then just sorts... He doesn't really get over anything, but he's like... Well, I have this basket. Luffy's still out there. I have nothing to lose. I may as well go out and see if he wants to eat this. And this is the hard-hitting shit right here. Yeah. And Luffy looks the big drained. He looks like a, he's aged like 40 years in this one scene. It's actually kind of nuts. Face sunken in, scrawny as a bone. Missing teeth. Yeah. Yeah, this is all some really heavy shit. Oh, yeah. It's... And Sanji doesn't do a good job of keeping it together either during their confrontation and explaining what's going on, so... Yeah. <sighs> now, this level is where things get pretty complicated. 